everybody, so this is Nicole from Sethu.com and today we're at Chinatown Point to try Tam Zai Sam Guo which is Hong Kong's most famous uh, Mi Xian. So there's like a lot of combinations and also they are Michelin Bib Goman approved so we have to see whether it's really worth it. So let's go check it out! Hi, so now here we are at uh, Tam Zai Sam Guo's Chinatown Point outlet and we have like um, four of their most popular soups. So the special thing about Tam Zai Sam Guo is that like it's you start with your toppings first and uh, topping A and topping B and then after you choose your soup base so it's entirely customizable so you can choose whatever and however you want but each bowl comes with like your bean cut sheets, chives and bean sprouts so I mean you can just have it plain as it is or you can add more toppings. So we'll start with everyone's favourite which is the mala soup. The moderate is the equivalent of zhong la so and I can handle my spice pretty well so let, I'll see how it goes. It's actually pretty okay, it's not as spicy as I thought it would have been. It's peppery, um, there's not as much of the, that ma taste that you usually get. It's more of that um, like peppery, like very fragrant taste that you get. So then, of course, the most, the other thing that you have to try is the noodles. So the noodles are just made with rice and water and it's supposed to be better on your stomach and they stay al dente longer in the soup. They do look really similar to like our two meat bun, but I'd say like the texture is a lot better. It's not as like starchy. Um, it's a little bouncier, springier. So yeah, well that spice is really starting to hit me. But, but yeah, like it's it's completely doable. So yeah, so you can pick anything you like. But for this bowl, I've chosen just something a little lighter to complement the mala. So there's um, the fish balls, chicken, and shiitake mushrooms, and of course yeah. So it's, it's really up to you, like for this soup, I think this is a pretty good combination. I'm told that the fish balls and the cuttlefish balls are specially imported from Hong Kong. Mm. They're a little tighter, a little bouncier than what we normally get. And if you've ever been to Hong Kong, you know that one of the most famous street food is the curry fish balls. So this is the ula soup. This is actually a special recipe, sometimes own special recipe. So it's supposed to have a smoky, charred flavour that's very different from what we're used to. So I'm just going to try the soup first. Mm. Yeah, I think definitely <clears throat> one third mouth is quite uh, comfortable for, for those who can like, who's not really good with your spice. Um, it's definitely very peppery. It has almost like a wok hay like flavour. And say for this soup also, you want to pick slightly less fleshy ingredients just to you know, really complement all that smoky flavour in the soup. Yeah, so I, I think if, if you're like a little bit bored of your usual mala, you can definitely try this ula soup. And if you're really good with your spice, I suggest you also take the moderate because, yeah. But I think like as I, as I sip on the soup, it gets like I can, I can feel myself getting like sweatier and like I feel like I really need a drink. So here we have the tomato soup. So this one comes with premium beef, shrimp wonton and enoki mushroom. And this is also at like uh, one third mile. Which of course, um, if you really cannot take your spikes, you can definitely choose the non-spicy option, which they also have. So Tam Zai Sam has up to 10 uh, spicy options, even a double extra spicy. You know how some uh, tomato-based anything can get a little bit acidic, but this is a little tangy. It's much sweeter than what I expected. But, and it's really comforting. For this soup, you can definitely choose like slightly more uh, robust ingredients. So you can have the shrimp wonton, the beef. It's really tender and it's, it's almost like, it's really sliced really thinly as well. So that adds to the flavor. So this is the san chan soup, which is tam zai sam uh, sort of sour, spicy rendition. Okay, so this is that mild spicy. There's a good balance between the sourness and the spiciness, which of course is like, a favourite for everybody. Just a tip, like if anything is too spicy, you don't want like, uh, ice water doesn't really help, so like anything fatty would just really help to alleviate the spiciness. So yeah, let's have a, have a taste. Mm. Somehow that just helps to quell a little bit of the spiciness. Now we're going to try the whole host of appetizers. We can start with one of their specialties, which is the Tufei uh, chicken wings. So these are actually mid-joint chicken wings and they are actually a really fa 
like a very popular recipe, like Tufei meaning bandit. So there's a lot of like coriander, cumin, and other secret spices. You know, they're really tasty. Um, I mean, cumin is a little bit difficult to get used to if you're not used to the spice, but I'll say like it's it's very flavorful. It's so so tender. Okay, so now we're gonna try the other appetizers, and I'm gonna go for like one of my favorites. This is uh, Tam Sai's own way of having century egg, and they do some kind of magic with it so that it's not you don't have that um, unpleasant like ammonia taste. So there's chili oil and green pepper. Century eggs are just really nice, very soft, very smooth, that very rich flavor. All right, so now we have two appetizers that are like basically like an oat garlic, if you will. So there is um, fried garlic with the eggplant and um, the sliced pork with garlic as well. So, hmm. It's a pretty good appetizer. It's the, you know, like it's a lot of garlic. So if you're not a fan of garlic, this is definitely not for you. But yeah, it's pretty tasty. It's nice and soft. Okay, so and now we have the pork with garlic. So it's basically just, you know, swimming in chili oil and with like a nice, a pretty generous dollop of uh, chopped garlic. Yeah, I think this is a definitely a good companion to like all your, like if you're still hungry from your noodles and you don't have enough topping, this is definitely a good selection. Of course, if you're here and you're missing Hong Kong, you can definitely get their Hong Kong milk tea. So it is as close as they could get to um, the sort of authentic uh, Hong Kong milk tea. And I would say like, uh, this one is pretty nice. It's sweet, it's a little astringent, very fragrant. Uh, very fragrant, yeah. So if you're missing Hong Kong, definitely like, you have to get the milk tea. Tam Tai Sam Go is a great place for anyone who loves with spicy food, I mean 700,000 combinations and like many many toppings for you to choose from. That seems like the perfect place for anyone who loves to customize their dish. Yeah, and the, the flavors are very well rounded um, and they do pay a lot of attention to detail, so that's something that I really like about the place. And of course, like this Chinatown outlet is their third outlet, so it's very spacious and it's very airy. It's quite comfortable if you want to come here, it's not that crowded. But of course, um, they have outlets in Bedok Mall and Vivo City as well. It's completely different from what we usually have and it's very tasty and satisfying. Just for fun, um, like I just ordered the double extra hot. So extra hot is already like level 10, which is the maximum. But for like a top up, you can have uh, double extra hot. Extra hot is like Tela, which is like specially hot. So I'm gonna try it. It already looks like really scary with like it's red and like Okay. okay, I have my tea here, so just in case it's really spicy. Ah. Oh, okay, it's very hot, it's very hot. It's, it's really subtle, like, it, you know, like, it's really stealthy, like it comes for you and then after it's attacking my entire mouth right now. <coughs> yeah, if you, anyone, if you know anyone who loves their spice, this is quite a contender. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna cry really, so. Okay, so we're done with Tam Tai Samugo and I have to say like the spice is really not for the faint-hearted. Like that last bowl really got to me. And I mean if you like lots of customization, it's definitely a good option and they're really tasty too. So definitely go check them out. So we'll see you next time. Bye!